Well, I've got something a little different to share with you today on Vintage Tech. I have here a 1972 SX70 Polaroid land camera. Leather trim, beautiful, beautiful camera. And um, these are, you can still buy these and refurbished for about $350 to $400. And a good friend of mine gave me this recently. And uh, I thought I would just try to see if I could find some film for it. As you can see, it opens up nicely. And uh, the uh, film cartridge, empty film cartridge was in it. And um, the uh, battery on the film cartridge is dead. So I thought... Well, why not try to uh, find some film for this thing and see if it'll actually take some pictures. Well, the film is not cheap, but of course it's developed instantly or within a few seconds. Um, this particular camera is manual focus. It has uh, one foot to infinity. And I had to take the camera apart and fix the focus was jammed uh, and corroded, but I got that working nicely. And it has a um, exposure setting here. We'll put it on light and uh, set it for full lightness. Um, and then I've got a flash bar that my friend gave me. Had two spent bulbs on it. And it's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight left, which is good because, yes, that's right, got a pack of film. Got this off of eBay. You can look it up and see what it costs. It's not cheap, 20 bucks. So it's, what's that, about a buck and a half a photograph? Um, something like that. And eight photographs, uh, eight instant photos, color. So here's the film pack. We're going to put this into the camera and we'll take some pictures of the ham shack. I mean, at, at $2, see, $2 a piece would be $16. No, it's $2.50 or $2.30, whatever that is. It's $2.50 a, a photograph. <laughs> Electronics engineer can't even do simple math. Okay, whatever. Uh, it's eight photographs in this film pack. And uh, we're going to slip this puppy in. Uh, just a little piece of information. Years ago, I got into one of these and tore into the pack. And as a kid, and discovered that the battery is inside the, the pack. And there's a flat battery. I forgot what they called it. Uh, the Polaroid Pulse or Insta Pulse. We'll pull this film pack apart and um, look at the battery in here. Uh, and actually, when I was working on this camera, I put this film pack in and out a couple of times, and the battery still had power. And there's the contacts for the battery right there. It's a something pulse. Let's see if I can see it down inside here. Um, polar po pulse? Polar pulse? I don't know. We'll look at it. And it's a flat battery pack inside the film pack. So let's just do that. Let's just get the film um, opened here, and and twenty bucks. Afraid I'm gonna mess something up. Keep your friends close and your Polaroid film in the refrigerator. Okay. Insert film this side up. Do not discard this dark slide. Okay, there's the battery contacts. And, all right. Let's just slip it in. This side up. There we go. And it should spit that paper out when we close it. And it did. So we're ready to go. We are ready to go. It says I've got 10 photographs left, but I know better. 
it only has eight. So let's put the good side out on the flash. And there we go. All right. Let's get a picture of the ham shack. Well, <clears throat> I don't want to, uh, I want to be back far enough. Okay, now we have to set the focus. says three feet but I know better let's move it to five feet maybe that'll be right okay get rid of my medicines coffee cup And uh, let's turn some more light on here. There we go. That'll really help the photograph. Oh, yeah. That improved some things. All right. Are we ready? Okay, they say to take this and set it face down. So we'll just do that. Now let's put the camera away. Folds down. It, it flashed, which was nice to know. And put the camera away. And I remember that we used to wave it. I don't know whether that did any good or not, but we're going to see if the film was any good. And uh, we should, uh, I'm printing something over here on the 3D printer, but we should be good here in a minute. Leave it down here and don't let it expose to any light, I think they said. I will probably ought to read the instructions. So far, there's nothing on the film. So I don't know if the camera is even working. Uh, if the shutter didn't open right, then um, we may not get a, a picture. I'm also not sure if you're allowed to open the film once it's in the camera. I don't know if you can pull the cartridge out, work on the camera, put the cartridge back in. Uh, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, so far, I'm not getting any image. Well, we'll see. Uh, see, I can see some white things starting to come through on the film. So maybe we're going to have an image here. We'll put it back down. And we'll come back when the film is developed. It's a little dark, so I'm going to make sure that the exposure is all the way up open. And uh, we're going to get a, a little further back. And we'll focus.
the focus has a, a window in the viewfinder with parallax. So it has a circle with a line in between. And what you do is you focus the, the camera until the parallax is perfectly square or perfectly in alignment. If it's out of focus, the two half circles will be like this. And so you line the image up to where the two circles are perfectly in line, makes a perfect circle. If it's out of focus, it'll be, these will be shifted one direction or the other. So it makes it really easy to know whether you're in focus. Um, this first shot is very dim. I'll do the close-up of the, the pictures, but it's taking about a minute to two minutes to develop, but it'll be an interesting uh, experiment to see how well it's doing. Uh, once again, we're playing with the Polaroid SX-70 land camera by Polaroid, and uh, this is the leather model. So this is a little more expensive unit. Sorry about that. I have 3D printing something over here and my filament got bound up. So I kind of just jumped right over there to try to save this print. Okay, there's the first photograph so far. You can see it's pretty, pretty washed out. Let's see if this one's developing yet. Yeah, this one's developing a little better. And um, it will uh, probably be brighter with the exposure set a little bit slower. So um, we're just going to see how these do. Put a picture of my wife here. We'll see if it picks that picture up. Yeah, it's in the frame there. So we'll see how it does in a minute. It's coming in. Still pretty washed out. And that's with a flash. We'll see if it improves. This one's just about as far as it's going to go. We'll do an outdoor picture here in a second. Okay, we had flash on that one, but I didn't see the flash. But I know it went because I got the, the bulb is blown. So let's close it up. And uh, keep that from getting exposed to the sun. And let's see what we have here. Okay, the, the pictures are uh, developing now. The uh, first picture had the exposure set a little bit too dark. Second one, I had it set all the way open and with a flash, and you can see it's still a little dark. I think that's pretty much typical of these cameras. This is an outside picture, and it's still developing but it's coming through of the car and then one of the house in full bright sun. So without flash, this was with, oh, these three were with flash and this was without a flash. So obviously a flash wouldn't do any good that distance and probably very little good on this distance. It might have, might have helped a little bit on this one, but um, 
certainly the camera needs a lot of light. So let's uh, give it a couple more minutes here and take another look. Okay, here we are back again. Uh, almost completely developed. They still, still seem to be brightening up just a little bit. This was the outdoor picture of the house, and it's still a little bit green. And then, of course, you can see how dark this photograph is of the car. And then the two dark pictures of the shack. Okay, I did the math. The film is $2.50 a shot. So there's um, $10 worth of photographs right here. And... Uh, then the flash bar, which really shocked me, one of these flash bars from Amazon, which is the cheapest I could find, 10 bulbs, 10 flashes, 28 bucks. So $2.80 a flash. So what's that? If I did it right, you're looking at $5.30 for these three, $2.50 for this one. So if I did the math right, you're looking at $18.40 worth of photographs here. <laughs> Woo! Very, very pricey. So the only reason I did this was for you all on, on YouTube, okay? I don't normally blow money on taking a picture of my house, only a half a picture of the house, and a dark picture of the Mini Cooper, and Sela's over there says it's time for supper. Her alarm clock just went off. And there's a very poor picture of my ham shack. And, uh, um, in any case, wow, 28 bucks for one of these flash bars. Can you imagine? They do make one that it plugs in just like this. And, uh, I didn't see the price on it that it uses double A batteries and, and it's a unlimited number of flashes per double A batteries. So, um, Obviously, I don't have any plans on using this camera on a regular basis. Uh, my wife has one of the newer cameras that makes the smaller photographs, and I know the film is not that expensive. But the Polaroid SX-70 LAN camera. So there you have it. This is 2022 and a 1972 camera. So there we have it. The SX-70 Polaroid LAN camera with a brand new pack of color film. And we used one, two, three, four of the $2.80 flash bulbs. Ooh. And here are the results of our photographs. And so $18 and some change for those four photographs. So also, I wanted to take a look at this uh, battery. Let me just rip this case open. See if I can get this battery. Oh, there we go. There's the battery. And it's the Polaroid Pulse. Yeah. You see, don't cut it because it'll catch on fire. Or don't, don't, don't cut it and don't catch it on fire. Let's see. Uh, we'll just hook up a, a meter here. See what kind of power we got to this old battery. Five dollars. Uh, five dollars. Five point six volts. Five point six volts. Uh, of course, no load in that, but um, still a little bit of power left in that pole pulse. See that? Just a thin, thin battery. I don't know if this is lithium or just what it is. Um, Somebody can look that up and put it in the comment section in the in the uh, below here, and maybe they can tell us what this is. But it's the Polapulse battery. I don't see a date code on this. So, fifty-year-old technology. Can you believe it? Is that possible? Yeah. 
50 year old technology and my goodness that just blows my mind so still can buy filming and uh, flash bulbs for it if you're wealthy enough to splurge and of course the next thing you're going to do is scan these and put them in a computer right probably not look at that how dim that is and green I do remember these cameras having a tinge of green and I think you can get a filter for your your cell phone photographs called Polaroid if I'm not mistaken and it does put kind of a green tint on it and uh, but there you have it thanks again for watching the vintage tech